I came in pre-med, I wanted to go to medical school, and one of the things that my advisor told me as a first year medical student, or first year in college, didn't know anything about me, told me it's too hard, you know, you sh you're an athlete, you're not going to be a doctor, you should do something like general studies and then figure out what you want. And anybody knows if you don't start on a kind of a pre-med track early on in college, it's hard to catch up. And so had I followed their advice, I never would have been where I am today. Looking at the numbers of African American males who matriculated into medical school in 2014, uh, there's been a significant decline. 542 um, males were going into medical school in the 70s, uh, and now we have almost a little over 500. We knew that, uh, that much more was needed to support young African American males, and so this was a response to this call out of how do we really support um, young African American males getting to their dreams. Young Doctors DC is an intergenerational mentoring program uh, that specifically prioritize uh, young African American boys in high school uh, to provide them an experience that would lead them to healthcare professions. Given some of the uh, previous pipeline work that our office at LSU has been privileged to work with, both locally and nationally, we were identified as uh, an excellent resource uh, to look at hosting this organization for a one-day workshop, which would provide exposure for their students, but also would allow us to connect with similar students throughout the New Orleans community. We had a number of healthcare professionals at various levels of their career, both inclusive of our faculty, uh, our residents, our medical students, uh, as well as visiting uh, uh, physicians, uh, both connected with the Young Docs program and also invited to participate from the AAMC, uh, in which initially we opened the day with a panel discussion, uh, reviewing uh, important considerations in terms of what's critically uh, valuable for students of color as they look at uh, entering a pathway for a health professions career. And then the students were invited to separate uh, based on if they were either in high school or undergraduate students uh, into groups where they would have breakout sessions meeting again with the professionals participating in the conference where they could have a small group discussion about um, many things that are essential in terms of um, how do you uh, go about a process of you know, preparing resumes and applications. Uh, how do you find mentors? Um, how do you look at critical questions with regards to or funding your education for entering a career in medicine? Uh, and so we had breakout sessions where parents could ask questions, where students at different levels could ask questions and could seek guidance that was specific to their, uh, to their level. Uh, we then wrapped up in the afternoon with the opportunity to have the students work through some medical simulation exercises. The students would rotate through our Center for Advanced Education, which is the School of Medicine Simulation Center, in which they were able to practice uh, doing a physical exam, listening to heart and lung sounds. The students then rotated through a session with one of our emergency medicine faculty, Dr. Pierre Detige, in which they went through a Stop the Bleed training. Uh, students were taught how they apply tourniquets, how they apply pressure bandages, how they go through measures in which they can help stabilize a patient, an individual in the, in the community who's bleeding before emergency services arrive. Um, and then lastly, there was an exercise in which the students worked with some of their our orthopedic faculty, uh, Dr. Chris Marrero, uh, and also a visiting faculty member uh, from Tulane, uh, in which they went through some exercises which simulated joint replacement and different orthopedic procedures in terms of bone repair related to fractures and other disorders. Uh, and so this was an exciting opportunity for students to have a hands-on experience uh, and learn a little bit about what we actually do um, in terms of patient evaluation, patient treatment, and actual life-saving emergency measures. And so we had the chance to have the students have a, a very um, multifaceted experience throughout the course of the day and to leave, I think, with a full uh, immersion and impression of uh, what an academic health center has to offer for them as they move forward in the future. This program has given me a lot. I've only been here for like two hours so far and I've learned so much, not just from the pro professionals, but also from medical students, those that are still in residency, and some of the college students who are actually trying to go to the college that I'm thinking about, which is Xavier University. It's just showing that although it gets harder along the way, as long as you have a strong support system and you can visually see 
people of your color doing great things that you aspire to do, it just it just shows that you you too can do it. Coming on a Saturday, waking up early. At first, you know, I wasn't I wasn't really wasn't really looking. I was looking forward to it, but I wasn't too excited. But being here, this is has been really beneficial. I'm extremely glad that I came, and I would recommend this for anybody. We want to affirm humanity. You know, I think you know, just a general point. You know, this is this is affirming and, and valuing humanity uh, on so many different levels, and so. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the work that Young Doctors DC is doing uh, and the, the response. Uh, again, all the institutions that have supported this work, uh, the Association of American Medical Colleges, uh, the um, institutions like LSU and Emory, uh, I mean, it's, it's just, it's clear that there are many people who want to change the narrative about what it means to diversify uh, the medical profession.